It's throwback week here at footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an NFL week four preview between the San Diego Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. So let's look at some keys to victories for both teams starting with San Diego. When you look at the Chargers in this game, you look at a team that's going to come in and defensively, it has to start up front. Kendall Reyes has been playing some solid football up front for the Chargers, and they're going to have to do a great job of stonewalling that Chiefs offensive line. Can't allow movement. It also forces the outside linebacker, Sean Phillips, and also Jared Johnson. They're going to have to do a great job of containing the edge. If they can do that versus the Chargers, I'm sorry, versus the Chiefs, they can do a great job of shutting down the outside run because we see Jamal Charles is back and ready to go. Now, offensively, I look at where they can have some success. I think it's all about protecting Phillip Rivers. If they can keep him upright in the pocket, I like the advantage they have in the passing game. They're used to it, but it's all about picking up the blitz. So let's go inside the lab to see how the Chargers can do so. Versus Kansas City, it's all about making sure you pick up the blitz. And here's how the Chargers can protect themselves versus the Chiefs pass rush. They have to make sure they get communicative at the line of scrimmage. Strong call, weak call. This is what we're talking about. When we talk about a strong call, it's the center's job to make these calls at the line of scrimmage. Why? Because all he's doing is counting the guys that are over him and to his right. So if he's covered, plus two guys on the line, that's a strong call. You see, he's covered by the nose. If he's not covered, he looks at he looks down the line and see who else is on the line of scrimmage to his right. You always count it to your right. That's a weak call. And when we say strong and weak, all you're doing is telling the if you call a weak call, you're telling the weak side guard to combo to the backer. That's what you guys are talking about. Strong, you're comboing to the back. You tell a strong side guard, you're comboing to the backer. So you really designate that call. And if this weak side backer walks out this way, the tackle's job is to make an off call. And when he makes that off call, he's notifying the running back that it's okay to come out in the flat because his guy is not a threat to rush. So it's all about communicating versus the Kansas City Chiefs. And if the Chargers can do so, they should keep Phillip Rivers well protected back there in the pocket. The Chiefs are slowly starting to get things together offensively. I know that was the New Orleans Saints they played last week, but you have to like what you saw out of the passing game. Jonathan Baldwin made some key third down plays. Jamal Charles ripped off a 91-yard run and had an impressive third and fourth quarter. So I think the offense is right where they want to be at this point in the season. Now, you look at the health of Rodney Hudson. If he's going to be healthy, this is a, a very good offensive line. That's the biggest question I have coming into this week because they're going to have to do a great job of stonewalling the Chiefs pressure and keeping that offense on pace. Now, defensively, Justin Houston played out of his mind last week, and he's going to have to get pressure on Phillip Rivers, and they're really just going to have to play the run on the way to the quarterback. What I mean by that is that they're going to have to not worry about the running game, and let's go back inside the lab to see how they can do that. You hear me say all the time, play the run on the way to the quarterback, and that just means that the defense doesn't respect the running game of the opposing offense. Also tells that the offense does more passing as opposed to running. Case in point this week, Kansas City Chiefs versus the San Diego Chargers, playing the run on the way to the quarterback means you can get aggressive with keeping gap integrity. So let's say in the base 3-4 defense, everybody has a gap. Boom, gap right there, gap. Play through him, play through that guy, gap. Gap, you've manned up on this guy right here. Receivers are manned up. Safety drops back. Gap, gap. Everybody has gap integrity. And really the guys that are going to get aggressive are your front three. These guys right here are going to push the pocket. Now, they can get pushed. They can, get, they can collapse the pocket. Their job is to turn these guys this way. Collapse that pocket. Allow these guys to push through this guy right here, this, this tight end. This backer, if he's not threatened in his flat, he's going to push this way. So you're really playing the run on the way to the quarterback. You're getting pushed, but you're also getting pressure as well. So it's one of the unique things the Chiefs can do this week to slow down the short passing game of the San Diego Chargers, especially if the Chargers decide to come with a running play. You're still protected because you're maintaining gap integrity, but you're getting pressure on the quarterback, which is why we say playing the run on the way to the quarterback. The Chiefs can do that this week versus San Diego. Now let's look at the personnel breakdown in this matchup. I like what both teams have on their rosters. These are two very talented ball clubs, so this will be a highly contested ball game. The Chiefs have the advantage in the offensive line department and also in the backfield, so I think that's where this game has to be won. But the Chargers can get down the field vertically and they have the experience in the passing game. 
I like Kansas City in this ball game. I think this game will come down to running the football and being able to get pressure on the QB, and I have to go with Kansas City in that aspect. They can run the football, and I love their edge rushers in Tom Bali and Justin Houston, so I think it's not going to be all on the shoulders of Matt Castle. So this will be a great game in the AFC West, highly contested, close ball game this season. And I want to give a huge shout out to Chief Fan and Charger Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.